Good morning. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm an interpreter specialist here at Bidwell Mansion State Historic Park in California. And today we're going to be talking about another item we have here in the mansion, this vase right next to me. Now, this vase is something that Annie Bidwell called her chrysanthemum vase, uh, no doubt because of the chrysanthemums on it. Now, unlike other Chinese artifacts here in the Bidwell Mansion, this one was not a gift from the local Chinese community. This was, in fact, a gift from Annie Bidwell's mother. And Annie Bidwell's mother received it from a person that she called the very first Chinese uh, minister to the United States. So uh, we believe it is a Chinese vase, although it does have uh, quite a few Japanese stylistic elements. So it's kind of a, a medley of styles. Um, now, we currently have this vase displayed here in the Bidwell Mansion VIP guest bedroom. But according to historic photographs, the Bidwells actually has this displayed downstairs in the main foyer. So this would have been one of the first things you saw when you entered the mansion. And I think this is really significant because in 1877, there was a large anti-Chinese uh, fervor here in Chico. And as part of that, uh, an anti-Chinese organization sent a delegation to meet with John Bidwell to demand that he fire all his Chinese workers. John was the largest employer of Chinese here in Butte County. About one-fifth of his workforce was Chinese. Um, now, when they arrived here in the mansion, this would have been the first thing they saw as they entered the house. So this is something that would have sent a very powerful and clear message about what John's loyalties were and how successful this delegation could expect to be. Uh, now, John, in recalling this incident, he mentions that he does not acquiesce to any of their demands. And in fact, he is so perturbed by their bullying that he mentions that he actually had a, uh, he had hired some Chinese workers to take care of a particular project for him, and he expected to let them go when that project was completed. But he was uh, afraid that this delegation would take that as a victory, so instead he decided he was going to find another project for these workers so that he could continue to keep them on the payroll. Uh, and that's something I think that says a little bit about John's relationship here with the Chinese community, as well as his own personality, and what the situation was here in Chico in those days. Uh, so thanks for joining us, and uh, please join us next time. We'll talk about some other items here in the house.